Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Ah, da 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 I'm just trying to think in my head if I actually want to play the Keeper. We still have Lilith Darkroom, Lost Mega Satan, Eden's done, Lazarus done, Azazel done, Samson done, Eve done, Blue Baby done, Judas done, Cain done, Maggie, Mega Satan, here we go. We're gonna try something a little different, you know, Lost... Maggie, or sorry, lost uh, keeper runs. Those are gonna happen, man. There's gonna be enough of those. You don't have to worry yourself. Um, for now, let's try to get Mega Satan done on another character. If we can get it done on Maggie, I wouldn't mind whatsoever. I'd be very excited. Self-sacrifice room is pretty common in the early game. Every extra red heart we get gives us a pretty better chance, at least, of getting to that first uh, key piece. Getting to that first key piece means that we have a better chance of getting a deal with the Angel at some point. I think. I'm not totally convinced that that seems to be working, but uh, apparently blowing up your donation machine also gives you a, uh, a much larger, or at least an appreciably larger risk of a deal with the Devil instead of a deal with the Angel, which is actually something that uh, maybe I knew intellectually at some point, but never internalized because it never became that relevant. Plus, it was like, hey, if you eat you know, potato chips, your dick will grow six inches. It was like, if it was already something that I mostly wanted to have happen, although having a 36 inch long dick would be a little bit outrageous. Um, no, but it was like, if, I'm, if it's something I get a double benefit out of, I guess I was like, I don't need to know about it that much. So, uh, as of right now, that has become relevant and means that I should probably stop blowing up our donation machine. If anything, I should probably donate to it to increase our chances of you know, being able to actually uh, get an angel room in the future. For now, though, this is this seems like the ideal big room for us right now. It's enemies that are not that strong. This guy's gonna be a pain in the butt, but uh, also enemies that will get hit by little chub and oh, I actually said the name right on the first attempt for once. Get hit by little chub and possibly kill like multiple of them at the same time or simultaneously, I guess. Um, which is probably the dictionary definition of simultaneously, but... Let's see if we can find our last spider here. Hanging out in the middle of no spider's land. Seven cents, no keys. Not that much of a, a coup for us. This is what we're looking for. Um, probably we fight our boss first, and then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking we got... Four HP, five HP with Yum Heart, six, seven HP with the amount of, um... Red hearts on the ground. Let's see if we can maybe get one more HP from our boss, or we can get Squeezy, uh, Mr. Dolly, something like that. Something that gives us more HP. Even just an HP upgrade would also be, like, completely acceptable. We don't need to get to Mega Satan right away. I wouldn't mind it, honestly, like, if... Maybe having a really early, easy chance to fight Mega Satan with base damage. Like, it's gonna be shitty, but... It would give us a, a chance, at least, early, and, and not waste too much of our time. Plus, if we succeeded, it would be hilarious. Oh, we did get a nickel out of this, so plenty of money. Uh, but what I'm more looking for is basically just getting one key piece. It doesn't guarantee us deals with the Angel in the future, but it gives us a much better chance of having deals with the Angel in the future. The thing is, it's kind of, you're better off going all in. Like, you're better off uh, getting both key pieces at the same run, or the same floor, because otherwise, you know, later you will fight an Angel statue and not get a key piece out of it. Okay, well I should pick this up. I'm a little scared about the idea of fighting an angel statue on one heart. I think I should be, honestly. Uh, at least I got a little extra money out of this. Without any other consumables is kind of shitty though. Um, but we can only play it one more time. I'm gonna celebrate, ooh yeah, all right, let's start the dancing. I can... Hi, whoa, what? Oh, holy light. The stars are brightly shine. My Aaron Neville impression needs a little work. The voice crack was all me, though. Um, so we sacrifice like all of our HP for Holy Light. If we get our HP back, this is fine. This is a great situation. Uh, if we don't, then that's... Oh, I, 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 I think I just go, honestly. As much I, I think I'd count my blessings right now, and we try to make it happen on a future floor or via the Angel Statue route. For now, I'm mostly just stoked that I got Holy Light from our, uh... From our Angel Rooms, which I didn't even know... Not Angel Rooms, sorry, Self-Sacrifice Room, which I didn't even know was possible. Please, just a Holy Light shot. 
We killed them all without putting ourselves in any risk whatsoever. Okay, well, one day. I believe that this is not like a, you know, counterfeit holy shot. There we go. We actually got one out of it. I guess we need to crank up our luck stat a little bit. Bomb. Very useful. Um, not necessary on this floor, but in the future we will need to store one bomb for angel rooms. That's the idea anyway. For here, we'll probably use it to try to guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil, because not getting a deal with the devil here, somewhat counterintuitively, uh, sets back our progress for getting a deal with the angel. But we didn't get a spirit art, but we did get, you know, our money's worth out of it, basically. Good. HP's looking solid again. Great stuff. Just want to keep myself far enough away that, you know, none of these shots can catch me by surprise. Bomb for a key, normally pretty solid. Not really uh, what I'm in the mood for right now. Although, it would allow me to go to our shop and our item room. So, actually, fudge that I'm in the mood for it extremely. Um... Yeah, use your bomb for your key here. This allowed us to get a spirit heart. Pandora's box versus Yama heart. Normally, I'd be all over Pandora's box here because eh, the phrasing there made me a little uncomfortable. But <laughs> normally, I'd be all over Pandora's box here because it does... Uh, wow, that was really good. Give us a chance at uh, an item, whereas Yum heart is just like healing. However, because I'm kind of taking this self-sacrifice route more seriously than I used to, um, I'm thinking maybe... We just don't do that instead. I'm also thinking maybe we we keep... Oh, that's so good. Maybe we keep Yum Heart. So things like, you know, Nun's Habit could be better. If we end up using our self-sacrifice room to fight Mega Satan early, uh, we'll, we'll want the ability to heal if we get hit. And I'm also starting to think, like, maybe we actually do take deals with the devil and then just try to make a self-sacrifice room work later. It'll depend... Whether or not I try that, you know, grand experiment here will depend on, um, oh, that's so good. It will depend on how good the deal with the devil is. If the deal with the devil already sucks, maybe we'll just try to get the key piece the old-fashioned way. If the deal with the devil is awesome, maybe I'll take it and try to hit self-sacrifice rooms. It's pretty good. I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to go the self-sacrifice room route. I'm going to try. Now, of course, this relies on us finding a few things, like self-sacrifice rooms, which we have not seen so far. Um, but I, I have faith. That was dumb. I have faith that we can we can swing this without too, too much uh, hassle for us. The hero font, amazing for when we find our self-sacrifice room. I know I didn't hit up the curse room on our last floor. I'm kind of thinking that our HP is so valuable for ourselves right now. Which sounds like a cop-out, but, like, sincerely, I, I don't want to take damage intentionally that could cost us a chance to get, you know, to equilibrium on those self-sacrifice rooms. Now, this, this run might get totally botched based on the fact that there might not be any self-sacrifice rooms. If that happens, I'm going to be a little sad. We're pretty much just, you know, we're going to be back in, you know, 2014 Isaac or, you know, early 2015 Isaac where we're just going to be playing for the fun of it like a little bitch or something. There's not even any chance for progress here. But, uh, oh, we'll definitely take those. Um, I, I rely on luck throughout my, my daily life on a regular basis. So why not rely on it now in my time of great need? Chubb with Holy Light Piercing Shot was pretty much the ideal boss for us to fight, apparently. And he is already dead. Now if we could just get an angel statue, I'd be thrilled, but let's be honest. Pretty unlikely. We did get HP, though. We're at, like, with the hero font, we could do a self-sacrifice room on this floor. Make Maggie Mega Satan happen, I believe. And if we don't find, um... If we don't find a self-sacrifice room on this floor, we probably will do, uh... The curse room. Because, of course. Like, it's, it's still good. The curse room's... That was a huge revelation in my gameplay when people were like, Hey, idiot, start using the curse rooms. They're awesome. And then I started using them, and I was like, Wow! I've independently come to the decision that curse rooms are... I'm being facetious, of course. Not loving the, the dumb damage I've taken on this floor. There's also a special card back here. It's a Joker. Let's use it right away. I don't know if it's worth taking. 
But uh, I've taken it. I guess I've, I've doubled down on my on my decision here. I'm really trying to get like a little bit more of a handle for a uh, multi-dimensional baby. You know, the idea that maybe we should just completely stand still at the start of every room when we use it. Tammy's head, man. I'm completely going back on my principles on this one. But uh, I will totally take Tammy's head. That's not even like a contest. Tammy's head, multi-dimensional baby. Seems like it's got some good stuff going on. Luck up is... Uh, essential is probably like a little bit over the top, but very useful, especially because I think that affects our holy light chance. Well, it's looking less and less likely that we find a self-sacrifice room, and you know what? That's okay. You only need one self-sacrifice room to make it happen. It's got to be a good one, but you technically only need one. And we do have our shop still to come. Car battery would be so good. Yeah, no self-sacrifice room on this floor. Life goes on. Hematemesis was slightly dangerous. Box of friends. Well, with the only multi-dimensional baby, I'm not that into it. I think I'll just take this. And you know what? Why not take that as well? Just heal ourselves up a little bit. Probably should take the key. There's a key available here. Should we go to... I don't know. I think I'm not going to go to our curse room. Because I... I'm getting a little paranoid about our HP. One full spirit heart down is probably not that big of a deal, but might be worth ignoring. Um, oh, I didn't really need to buy that HP, but life goes on. Okay, next floor is self-sacrifice room. I can feel it. Otherwise, we're just playing for fun here. Psh, lame. Mm. Okay. Still hoping to get car battery as well. Car battery, Tammy's head is just a lot of fun. I like Tammy's head probably more than average in general, but then... Um, Oh, that was close. Uh, with car battery, it's like one of my favorite combinations in the game. I can't take glass cannon. It's just, like, as, as much fun as that item can be, I, A, you need a little bit more time with it to fully understand its applications, and B, uh, it, it doesn't fit with the theme of this run, which is have at least enough HP to do the self-sacrifice room and then also still kill Mega Satan at the end of it. So, I mean, I should point out there's still the chance for a... Um, for a uh, dad's key to show up, which is why, I mean, it's one of the reasons I'm not going to be skipping any item rooms. The other reason is because we really shouldn't be skipping item rooms in general unless we're playing as, like, the lost and we're worried about getting hit. And even then, it's kind of arguable. And by kind of arguable, I mean, like, extremely arguable. We have enough money that I don't feel like I need to go to our uh, arcade. want to keep our red hearts high, even though it would allow me to go to the boss trap room. Again, that's something I guess we could look at at the end of the floor. But let's be honest. If I get to the end of the floor, I'm probably just moving on. I'm very happy I took Tammy's head. I think it's saving me more damage than... Saving me more HP, I guess, than you would have expected. You know, especially with Multidimensional Baby just, like, working on it instantly. Uh, guaranteeing us some of those hits are, like... I don't know what the damage multiplier is for shots that pass through Multidimensional Baby, but... Making sure a lot of those shots are considerably more powerful. Still no self-sacrifice room. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dice shard. Um, you know, PhD is worth taking, so I don't really see the point in using Dice shard here. What's our other one? The hero font? We could just pop the hero font and then take the Dice shard with us. Maybe use it on a shitty deal with the devil? Mr. Dolly is really good. It's more HP than we know what to do with. Kind of wish there was a self-sacrifice room on this floor. Gimpy's worth it. Um, and that hurts us, which allows us to get more value out of that, actually. Goathead? Sure, man. And then we get another paralysis pill. This is what the PhD gets you, apparently. Eight years in college for this? I believe. I need everyone out there to channel their, their spirit energies and guarantee me a self-sacrifice room. I don't know how do you ch how do you channel your spirit energy? I don't know. You like put your hands in front of your body and like focus your focus your chi or your ki or whatever the fuck it is. Just do it, okay? Do it. Do whatever you need to do to focus your energy on there being a self sacrifice room here. Right, you guys, there you go. That's proof. That's a sign that it's working right there. Curved horn, pretty good item. Trinket, whatever. Focus your spirit energies on uh, on me being able to actually get the right nomenclature for items. Focus your spirit energies on buying my shirts at districtlines.com slash northernlion. 
Sad Bombs. This is a great pickup. I'm thrilled to have it. It's like our own on-demand Tammy's head. This spirit energy is really working, guys. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Where were you on that one, though? Totally missed that enemy. Some of you aren't true believers out there. Alright, this is gone. This is getting a little heavy-handed. Might as well uh, go fight the bloats. And he is already one hit away from death, but I can't hit him because his most beautiful creep of all time it completely boxed me out. Wow. Wow, that's embarrassing. Give me a Crampo fight. I'm ready. That's Succubus Guppy's head. This is going to sound fucked up. I think we take neither. That might be Incubus. I don't know. Incubus, Succubus. It's all the same to me. I'm going to take neither. We could take them at the end of the floor if we want. But right now, I'm like, if there's a self-sacrifice room, I'm going to need this HP. Especially knowing that, um, that we don't know our HP. You know, we have some unknown knowns here. And known unknowns. We don't know what our HP looks like. It's got to be like eight and a half, nine, but still, you know, want to keep yourself safe. That's pretty good. Mom's key is usually worth it. And then if I could pick up also the card here and just see what this is. Two of spades. The two of spades. The two of... I believe. I still believe that you will be here, so give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. But not you guys. You guys have hit me enough for one lifetime. Well, <laughs> you can still find the self-sacrifice room on the cathedral, so I'm not sweating it at all. Not worried in the least. Gray skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. We're rolling back prices all over the place, so put on a happy face. That's a, and then when I think about that, it's like the saddest thing of all time. It's like a song about like, oh, thank you, Gimpy. A song about, you know, like, just being being full of joy. And the reason I remember it is because it was in a commercial for, like, the largest company in the United States. That's like, man, I'm pretty pro-capitalism, but... That makes me feel a little bad. Okay, we did find a self-sacrifice room. I told you I believed, and if I believed, then what could possibly go wrong? I'm a little concerned about our HP. We gotta have several spirit hearts, though. So we, we walk on that. That's no problem. What about this one? You walk on that, you lose a black heart. What about this one? You walk on this, you feel blessed. That's outrageously positive for us. We walk on it again, there's something for us. We haven't lost any red hearts yet, and we got some more red hearts on. That's good stuff. We feel blessed again. I'm very happy to hear that. Still have not lost any red hearts. We get uh, Maw of the Void. Oh, protection, circle of protection, that's right. Still have not lost any red hearts. It's Curse of the Tower. This is where things get good. We still have not lost any red hearts. Use High Priestess on this little joker right here. Get the first half of the key piece. We still have not lost any red hearts. We walk on it again. That's a staggering amount of money. We w oh, what? I can't not post this. <laughs> oh, I blame myself. I blame Curse of the Unknown. I blame myself. That is, uh, well, that's, that's Isaac, baby. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this run. Um, maybe I'll try to sneak out an extra one today because this one's going to be a little bit on the shorter side but uh yeah i mean as a dynamic ending no question about it i hope you enjoyed it and the ending was worth the worth the the slog but uh thanks for watching click the like button if you enjoyed it subscribe if you want to see more in the future and i'll be back soon with another one see you then